boys. The athletes making their way out. That's Robert Miller, the 400 hurdles champion and record holder. The Ketishan also in the lineup. Akani Samuel Francis, a 400 hurdles silver medalist, having won that title a year ago in the Bahamas. Running significantly faster this year, though, for that silver medal was a terrific performance in a fine, fine race. The athletes making their way out for this one. No qualifying races on the boys' side in sprint hurdles. Had qualifying races in the under-17 girls, the under-20 girls, straight final. And now the U-17 boys, a straight final as well. Thirteen forty-nine, the record in this one. The Jamaican Kaim Carby delivering that in the Bahamas last year. Dwyer, also of Jamaica, will be a serious threat to that record. Has run a wind assisted thirteen point eight five. Michael Dwyer, positive two point four. On that, here's the full lineup. Akane Samuel Francis of St. Kitts and Nevis in one. Amari Brown, Trinidad and Tobago two. Jacaria Wilson, Bahamas in three. Michael Dwyer, Jamaica in four. Tariq Vincent, Trinidad and Tobago in five. Robert Miller of Jamaica in six. Tajon Webb of St. Kitts and Nevis in seven. And Seren Besson of French Guiana in lane eight. Big moment for these boys Tariq Vincent of Trinidad and Tobago already has two individual medals at these Carifta games bronze in the high jump silver in the long jump there is Amari Brown the second Trinidad and Tobago athlete in the field has run 14.40 seconds this season that was into a strong headwind negative 1.8 meters so does have the ability to go faster. Wind really kicking up. Looks as if it's going against the sprinters now. Regardless which way the wind is going, it is going to be something for the hoodlers in particular to have to contend with because it does disrupt your rhythm. So, because this event really all about rhythm and speed and you know when you're supposed to be hitting the hurdle. And the wind is just doing its thing with you and forcing you into doing things that you don't necessarily want to. As Abiba Harris pointed out in our chat with Gerard Marcelli, the technical component of the race so important. Generally across sport, when you're technically good, that's when you're able to manage various conditions because your technique is able to bring you through tough moments, tough situations. It's when you have deficiencies in your technical ability, uh, they really start showing up under severe pressure. There is the Ketishan, Akania Samuel Francis, second in the 400 hurdles in a personal best 52.88, won the 400 hurdles title in the Bahamas last year. Amari Brown of Trinidad and Tobago, 1440 personal best coming into this. There's the Bahamian Jacario Wilson, 1418, did that at the Bahamian trials. Michael Dwyer, Jamaica, 1405 at his best, has gone under 14, but that was wind assisted. Tariq Vincent already has two medals to his credit as the athletes are sent to their marks. Robert Miller, the 400 hurdles champion and record holder, goes in six. Webb of St. Kitts and Nevis, seven. And Vasson of French Guiana in lane eight. Off they go. Samuel Francis rose quickly. Vincent is down. The Jamaican Michael Dwyer is going well. Dwyer has the lead chased by the Bohemian Wilson. Dwyer and Wilson. Dwyer gets there to win the gold medal. 
13.79 on the clock downstairs. Michael Dwyer of Jamaica ahead of Jakaria Wilson of the Bahamas. And I think the 400 hurdles champion Robert Miller, the second Jamaican in the field, got up to take bronze. Confirmation, 13.81 for Michael Dwyer. And the Jamaicans go back to back to back in the hurdles. That's three from three. Wilson, 13.94 to take the silver for the Bahamas. That's a PB for him, of course, if it's wind eagle. And Robert Miller, fabulous performance in the 400 hurdles. 1.8 the wind we're getting. 13.97 for him, so personal best performances for the top three. Fine race. This man pushed Dwyer all the way. At one stage, seemed as if he might steal the gold medal. But Michael Dwyer, very strong in the closing stages, holding his composure in the key moments of this race. Here's another look at it. Terrific start. Vincent goes down. Dwyer clipping a couple of hurdles midway the race, but holding it together as the Bohemian challenged on his inside. Robert Miller finishing very well, the four hurdles champion. And once again, he gets the better of the Ketishan. Akane Samuel Francis, who is just outside the medals in the wanted hurdles. He finishes in fourth. Here's confirmation. Positive 1.8 meters per second. Dwyer 13.81. Wilson of the Bahamas 13.94. Miller of Jamaica 13.97. The first three with personal best performances. A personal best as well for Samuel Francis of St. Kitts and Nevis, 14.06. Brown of Trinidad and Tobago, 14.20. Well of St. Kitts and Nevis, 14.54. 15.24 for Vasson. And Tariq Vincent actually finished the race outside 30 seconds.